My name is Rob and this is my prediction video for Hell in a Cell and this is Rob's predictions. Basically I like alliteration a lot and I didn't just want to put Rob's predictions because there's probably loads of videos like that and I wanted to be original and I've got slight OCD. And this is my prediction video for WWE's Hell in a Cell pay-per-view which airs on the UK today at like 1 in the morning. So it, it, yeah. 1 in the morning UK time, this Sunday, which Sunday today, but in America it's probably, I don't know how it fucking works, but anyway, it's on a Monday really in the UK, and here is my, my thoughts, pre-show, I, I think they're doing some sort of pre-show thing with Ms. Dow and the Miz, uh, whatever, everyone knows that Ms. Dow, J Damien Sandow is much better than The Miz, we all know that, he's much funnier, uh, The Miz is just a prick and everyone hates him, end of really. Uh, they're probably going to stick in some some match which we haven't heard of, uh, like they'll probably put in a fucking Bo Dallas match where he'll probably squash Zack Ryder, uh, no, no promotion at all there. But yeah, they'll probably put in a squash match, or maybe they'll have Slater Gator versus fucking El Torito and Los Matadores, who we all know are Primo and Epico. And maybe they'll have a fucking, like, a bit like a WLC match, but it probably will not be as good, because that match, that match was fucking excellent, I'll tell you that. So they'll probably do some sort of shitty match like that, which could be okay if it's got Zack Ryder in, otherwise it'd probably be a joke and make a mockery of the actual talented superstars that are involved. Uh, Rollins versus Ambrose, I, I really want Ambrose to win, and I think he will. This match will probably steal the show, no offence Dolph Ziggler, but it, it will be amazing if they let them do what they want to do, they, they could take huge bumps, I'm not talking Mick Foley, Undertaker huge bumps, or Rikishi huge bumps, but they'll, they'll probably take some, some huge bumps, some steel stairs, hopefully they climb on the cell, uh, but I don't think they will because, you know, they're very PG and all that shit now, but this match will be great, I, I can guarantee it. Um, the Dustbusters versus the Usos, Gold Dust and Stardust, which are that just just crazy fuckers and Uso crazy who's not tired of her hearing that fucking catchphrase it's appalling uh, it'll be an alright match they normally do some good spots but they'll probably repeat a lot like they do like they have a great match and then they'll do the same crazy spot that they do each match so it's probably going to be an okay match I'll probably skip it if I don't watch it live I'll probably skip this match because it's uh, it Actually, I'll probably, I'll probably watch it, but it's you know it's boring. You know, it's, it's nothing we haven't seen. They haven't done this all the time, and you know uh, the the Ghostbusters, the Dustbusters, the Crop Dusters, uh, the Road Road Dust, or the Brothers of Dust, or whatever they're fucking called. They'll probably still have the tag team championships. Uh, Ziggler versus Cesaro. Now this could steal the show. These are two amazing athletes. And Claudio, the guy called Cesaro in the WWE, is amazing. Dolph Ziggler, he sells like a boss. I don't think I've seen anyone sell as good as him, not even Shawn Michaels. Uh, he, Dolph Ziggler's amazing. I can't praise him enough, but he is getting a little bit stale. Like, with what he does, WWE are basically saying, oh, just do some drop kicks. Uh, he used to do a really cool headstand, just do multiple elbows. There's loads of stuff he used to do, which he doesn't do anymore, and I don't know if it's WWE don't want him to do it, or they're just kind of limiting his moveset to make him look like Cena. I can't fucking speak today. God. Uh, it's too many angry, angry rants I've been doing. But that will be awesome. Although Cesaro and Ziggler have not mixed for me like they're great competitors but they just don't gel together like when they have a match it feels clumsy it feels awkward uh, it will hopefully it will steal the show and prove me wrong and be amazing because they're both amazing competitors and i really hope ziggler gets the title and i think he i think he'll retain so yeah cena versus orton it's a match we've seen for fucking ages uh, I like Cena, I think he gets a lot of stick, he's good at what he does, stop hating on him, 
But um, he does do the five moves of doom. He's probably told to do that. That's what a lot of people don't realise. In the indies, in the old ECW, you could go out there, you could do whatever the fuck you want. But WWE kind of give you specific things and tell you not to do things. So, you know, don't hate on him too much. He has had some good matches. This will not be one of them. You've got the Hell in a Cell, a demonic construct, the Devil's Playground, whatever you want to call it. It, it can be brutal. It probably won't. It, it won't be that good. Randy Orton is stale as fuck. I hate his fucking face. The tribal tattooed skull face cunt. I hate him. Black tights. That's original. Uh, yeah, it's going to be shit. I don't care who wins. Fuck it. It'll probably be Orton. Maybe. I don't care. Um, Big Show versus Rusev. Uh, Rusev's going to win. It's going to be a crush match. Like, there's there's not going to be any competition. Uh, Mark Henry might give Big Show a massive American singlet or something. Like, uh, it, it's going to be awful. The good thing about this match will be Lana will be there, and she looks hot as balls. She's, she's just fucking hot as shit. CJ Parker is a real name. No, it's not CJ Parker. That's the guy from NXT. Uh, her, I can't remember a fucking real name. It's something like CJ anyway. But it will be shit. Uh, they're probably saving Rusev to get taken down at Mania. Otherwise, why would they build him up to be this beast? Even though he's not actually that great. Like, he, he was good in NXT. They let him do a lot of moves. But again, WWE have limited his moveset and he can't do... He can't show his athleticism as well. So, yeah, it's a, it's a, going to be a shit match, and Rusev's going to win, obviously. Uh, Paige versus AJ. Again, they're great competitors. Like, Paige is one of the best female wrestlers I've seen for a, a while. Like, her and Emma's feud on NXT was outstanding. I can't understand why they haven't fucking put them in a match together for more than, like, five minutes in, in WWE, because they are incredible and they need to they need to do it because they're fantastic. AJ is great as well. She doesn't do as many moves as they she used to. Uh she looked a lot better back then as well. I'm not keen on the whole, you know, jean shorts and a t shirt. It's not it's not a cool attire, I'm not a fan of it. Um they just don't gel. They're great competitors, they just don't gel in the ring. All their matches seem cumbersome and clumsy. And I'm, I'm not really happy with the way they're doing it. I think AJ will probably retain, but it's been flipping flopping between them, just like my penis would in real life. But the, no, the title has been flipping flopping between them, and it could go either way. Who knows? Uh, Miz versus Sheamus. Uh, who cares? Who fucking cares? Hopefully, Damian Sandow, Miz Dow, whatever you want to fucking call him, the stunt double that is better than the original, will suddenly show his true colours and beat the fuck out of the Miz so Sheamus retains, but then maybe Miz Dow attacks Sheamus as well and wants the title for himself. I can see that happening. Miz Dow is good enough. Damian Sandow is good enough. I liked his old persona in, like, FCW or something like that. He was called, like, Idol Stevens. It was, it was a good thing. He had something with Dolph Ziggler in there. It was a good... He was good, and now he's just a joke, like a lot of the superstars there. I hope, hope that happens. Uh, Sheamus will probably win. Nikki and Brie. God, this is the most awful feud I've ever seen. This is worse than Jonathan Coachman and Jamie Noble put together. And I hate those cunts. Th yeah, this was terrible. Um, uh, you know, Brie and Nikki Bella, they're going to put on a shit match because Brie can w wrestle okay. Nikki's pretty shit. It will be terrible. It will be a five minute match. Hopefully Brie wins because that should end the feud. And uh, yeah, that's all I care about. These these bitches are ugly and I don't want to see them wrestle. They're, they're shit at wrestling. Put people like Emma or even Alicia Fox on the card. Not these cunts. Uh, yeah, I, I think that's it actually. Uh, I did want to actually mention that the Rollins-Ambrose match might have some interference, probably. It's probably going to be the end of the show, the big finale, and it'll be fucking amazing, hopefully. But there'll probably be interferences with the cruiserweight division, as Ambrose calls them, the uh, fucking Jamie Noble and Joey Mercury. Uh, I hope they both get through, put through a fucking table. Like, when Jamie Noble got put through that table on SmackDown, I was, I was so elated with that experience. I, I hope he gets thrown off the sail and dies. Uh, I don't want him to die, but I, I do hate him. I hate him a lot. 
Uh, there's probably going to be interference with Triple H. Kane doesn't have a match. I didn't see Kane's name up there, so it'd be interesting to see if he has a match. And I heard Randy Orton was inj injured, so I really don't know if maybe Kane will step in to uh, to fight Cena because uh, Randy Orton complained that the disc in his back was fucked. That's what the rumour says. We did hear him swear on, on Monday Night War, so, and he wasn't on SmackDown. So it would be interesting to, to see what happens there. There's probably going to be interference. It'll probably be a clusterfuck at the end of the match, but the actual match hopefully will be great. Highlights of the match will be Ziggler, Rollins, and Paige and Lana. And uh, hopefully my boy Zack Ryder gets on the fucking scene and destroys Bo Dallas's fucking face, that smiling little Bray Wyatt bastard. The Wyatts might appear. Who knows? They haven't been on TV in a while. They might do some shit. Uh, this is almost going into 11 minutes, so I'll stop it now. And uh, thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, comment. I might do a review on the pay-per-view after I've watched it, so that'll probably be tomorrow. Someone. Bye!